What's going on friends? Hey, today we're going to talk about battery safety. My name's Dan and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. So there's been a lot of talk in the media lately um, Some talk on Facebook and things like that I'm not going to go into all the issues If you're a vapor and you're up with stuff And you've even been on Facebook You know what's going on with batteries and, and vapes Vapes blowing up No, high performance mech, mech mod Battery went into thermal meltdown And hurt a guy Long story short The guy didn't know what he was doing He was using something he shouldn't have been using And he was uninformed by his vape shop and he was uninformed by himself. That's all we're gonna talk about. However, what we're gonna do is, is we are going to talk about battery safety. And I'm not gonna talk about mech mods and things like that on this show. What we're gonna talk about is the most simple possible battery safety that I see overlooked all the time. And that is messed up battery wraps. It's tech time with Stan. All right, so whether you're running a mech mod, whether you're running a regulated mod, anything, re you know, whatever you're running and you have 18650 batteries like these, doesn't matter what color, what brand, doesn't matter if you have these crappy EFES batteries, doesn't matter, okay? These batteries are not 40 amp, by the way. I can't stand that. Battery wraps lie. No. You need to make sure that your battery wraps are in good shape. That means no nicks. That means no cuts. That means no scratches. That means your insulator around the top, this black piece here, is in good shape. That means nothing, no e-liquid underneath the wrapper, anything like that. If you're using batteries that have the battery wrap torn or deformed or anything, you are being unsafe you are being irresponsible as a vapor. And something could happen. You could short your battery out inside your mod, inside your pocket. Don't be a statistic. Don't be one of the people that gives vaping a bad name because you were irresponsible with your batteries. All right? It's the easiest, most simple thing you could possibly do. Rewrap your batteries. Battery wrap, battery wrap, battery, battery wrap. wrap. It's like a buck for all those. Battery wraps, it's like a buck for all those. Let's take a look at how we do it. All right, guys, so these are examples of batteries that need rewraps. These are all 18650s. I use these for mech mods and box mods. Here, if you've got something as small as this little nick, focus. See that little nick right there? Little piece of metal shining through. That's enough to need a rewrap. Okay, you've got your insulator right here. This is your wrap, and then this is your negative. Okay, your negative comes all the way up and wraps around the top right here. That's why rewraps up top. That's why you have the insulator to keep the positive and the negative separated. The negative is the wall of the battery, or the ground, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, this is also another example. So you got a cut right here. You got a pretty tore up bottom. Okay, and then also this one has a little nick on the bottom, but this is fine. Um, it's not a nick, it's just a little pull here. So it's not, that one's okay, but it's married to this one that got set down in some juice. So we're gonna rewrap those two. I'm gonna show you guys how to rewrap one battery. This is how it goes. So first things first, we can take our 18650 battery and if it's not ripped up enough to where you can grab it and kind of peel you can take some scissors or something and cut your battery wrap however do not go from this side because one you want to keep your insulator this little black ring right here is your insulator you want to keep that okay and you don't want to bridge the positive the positive in the center and the negative on the side here so that's why you never take your scissors and cut across 
like this because you'll bridge the negative and the positive and you'll cause a hard short. You don't want to do that. I'm going to start pointing with these so I don't do it by accident. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut this battery wrap off here like this. Just grab it and peel. Usually what happens, this is a, uh oh, VTC 5A. I want to remember what they are so I can remark it. There's my insulator right there. Don't want to mess that up. Okay. So now what we do, I bought these wraps here, multicolors, all kinds of stuff from illumin.com, I L L U M N.com. Um, these are pre cut to 18650 size. So what you do is you open your battery at wrap up like this. Okay. Once you get your battery wrap opened, you stick one end of the battery in there and then all the way down like this and then try to center it inside the wrap. Okay. And you'll be able to see where the battery is inside the wrap. You can take a flashlight and put it behind it to kind of see right now. I can see with my lights that I'm pretty centered. So now what happens is, is this is heat shrink. Okay, that's all this is. So we're going to put our insulator in there like this. Okay, make sure our insulator is not damaged. Put our insulator in on top of the positive. Don't be like me and forget to put the insulator in like I did on another battery. Um, because then I was like, where does this go? And I was, that was ridiculous. It took a while to find the right battery. So now is the loud part. So what I'll do is I'll cut the sound for you guys and I will uh, put some music over top or something so you don't have to listen to this. This is a, just a normal hair dryer, normal hair dryer, Remington, and we'll turn it on. Oh, we have to plug it in first. Okay, now when I do this, I do short bursts. I get really close to it like this and start to shrink it up and then I let it cool off. You do not want to get your battery really hot, okay? Batteries fail at high temperatures especially dealing with lithium batteries. So kind of watch how I do this. I'll be giving it rests and I'll speed this up for you so you can see, okay? You have a freshly wrapped VTC 5A with the insulator back on top and now we're good to go again. Also what I like to do is I like to write the lowest resistance I'm comfortable and the battery on it. That's just a thing that I do. You don't have to do that, but it makes it a whole lot easier for me to know what batteries are what. All right, guys, that was it. Easy as pie. A couple things around the house. You got a blow dryer. Go to Amazon or Illumin.com, I-L-L-U-M-N.com. Any vape supply store usually has battery wraps, okay? I literally got 10 to 20 battery wraps for a buck. And then you can get the same amount of battery wrap or of uh, insulators for a buck. So you'll have all brand new battery wraps, brand new insulators, okay? A blow dryer, maybe some scissors if you need to trim it down, uh, but I like to get the ones that are pre-cut for 18650s so I don't have to do any work because I'm lazy. And there you go. I'm going to throw a freshly wrapped BTC 5A in my broadside here, drip a little tank sauce, a little stars and stripes, which is a... Uh, pie or something like that a little American pie and I'm gonna enjoy my safe mech mod while you guys go out and get your batteries wrapped
You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And remember... Vape on, friends. Vaping saves lives.